And now we're going to turn to our very distinguished panel. Our first witness this afternoon is Ms. Jessie Tolkien. Uh, Ms. Tolkien is the Executive Director of the, uh, uh, of the Energy Action Coalition, which is a coalition of 50 youth organizations from the United States and Canada. She has worked to plan Power Shift 2009, a conference in Washington, D.C. that gathered 12,000 young people this weekend to advocate to stop global warming and to start a green energy economy. Uh, I had the opportunity uh, to be at the Convention Center this weekend, and it was an impressive sight to see. So, Jesse, uh, thank you for being here, and whenever you are ready, please begin. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Chairman Markey, for having us here today. I apologize that the, the bold speaking over the weekend has taken my voice a bit. I want to thank you for your leadership on this topic. I have the honor of serving as the Executive Director of Energy Action, a coalition that has brought together 50 diverse social justice, environmental justice, and religious organizations from across the country in our pursuit of a clean and just energy future. The urgency and magnitude of the topics we come to discuss today could not be more pressing or more timely. We are here today as the voice of a generation pleading and demanding with you, you for urgent action to address our climate and energy crises. Over the course of the past three days, 12,000 of us gathered here in our nation's capital. From indigenous communities in North Dakota to coal communities in Kentucky, we are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Latina, we are indigenous, we are Asian American, we hail from all 50 states and every single Canadian province and a dozen countries around the world. And what we've come here to remind you today is that the fight for clean and just energy, the fight for bold action on climate change is not just another bill. It is not just another political priority. It is not just another campaign promise. It is intricately, intricately wound up in the lives of the brave people that sit next to me and behind me today. 12,000 of us in Washington, D.C. this weekend, hundreds of thousands of young people around the country and millions more around the world cannot afford our Congress to longer, linger any longer. The science gets more terrifying with each new report. The climate cannot wait. Our dirty energy economy is failing us and the 3.6 million people that have lost their jobs. The economy, the unemployed Americans, cannot wait. Our communities are getting sicker and sicker from dirty coal and oil and uranium mining. Our communities cannot wait. The international community is looking to us. The world cannot wait. In 2009, we implore this Congress to stand up and listen to the 24 million of us that headed to the polls on November 4th. We demand that you pass bold climate legislation in 2009. Over the course of these next months, as the oil lobby and the coal lobby and the gas lobby fill these halls, they will be trying to write the bill. They will plug our airwaves with ads. They will put money into the campaign funds of our elected officials. They will try to halt the progress that we know cannot be halted. I ask you to remember the faces of the people in this room today. Remember that a generation's future is on the line. We don't just need any climate bill. Let me be close, clear about that. We need the boldest, most aggressive action that has ever come out of this United States Congress. We need energy that is, we need a energy and climate policy that is just for every single person in this country and every single person around this world. We need dramatic short-term targets in terms of carbon reduction on the scale of 25 to 40% by 2020. 
We need an immediate moratorium on coal. We need the creation of five million new green jobs. We need even further investment in clean energy. We need you to pass this now. As political priorities pile up in the coming months and the politics heat up, please remember that we cannot wait. The world cannot wait. Let us help you in sending the strongest possible bill to President Obama's desk this year. Help us in achieving the clean and just energy future we all need and deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse.